<laughs> but okay, so this brings us back something else. And like, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. I talked to you guys a little bit about it, but I am really infatuated. And I think this is a big part of the 21 convention, getting back to what we are made to be, what we were born to be. Yeah. And uh, you're around Keith, you're around the Paleo FX, you're around yeah. all these guys, man, these huge minds, Skylar, you know, yeah. I mean, it's like freaking being around the ultimate athlete and the ultimate PhD athlete, you know, I mean, yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, these crazy yeah. minds of people yeah, that are yeah. driving forward. What is, you know, how does that fit into what you guys are doing? Because yeah, you're running a business, you have all this awesome efficiency, at this high technology, but I think for you, the standard is a little bit beyond that. When yeah. I bring up, you know, born to be and what your body's meant to be mm. and born to be healthy, what does that mean? What is mm. our natural state of health? Yeah, well, I think unfortunately we're far from it. Uh, if you say what we're born to be, you, you can you can look back at uh, a great book called Manthropology. Uh, it's M A N Thropology. Um, it, it, you know, we, we can see that. I mean, and I and I'm just saying this as as again the Dexa scans a humbler. We're probably as strong as some females back back then. You know, I mean, and 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 that wow. kind of you know it kind of you know there are probably many females uh, of those of those uh, eras that could beat us in arm wrestling. You know, it's just we have kind of digressed if you will in our health and especially our strength um and and that's unfortunate now we can you know with even if we're dealt a bad genetic hand we can reverse some of that so don't get discouraged i just want to you know kind of give perspective that you said are we are we close to where we're born to be and i think the answer there is no but we we can make strides uh you know back back towards it um and then you also said something about you know um gosh just being around great around great minds um our whiteboard sessions that we have every Monday are just a lot of fun. And uh, mm. it does look like a beautiful mind in our uh, our war room, if you will, sometimes where we just have all sorts of ideas. And, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, I think all of us, I shouldn't say all of us, but a lot of us are, are you know, kind of this combination of right brain, left brain to where we like to think creatively, like what what's next? Uh, but then we also like to come back to the science and the research and say, well, does that work? Mm. Um, and we have a great balance in chemistry right now. And I'm just, you know, I'm thankful that we've got that going. Um, and, and, you know, something like payload effects, for example, is a great opportunity for people to check out what is this ancestral idea, this ancestral lifestyle. Um, it's not literally going back to the cave and the spear. Um, although, you know, there's some, <laughs> there's some goodness, if you will, to being out in nature and things like that. But, um, but it's but it's checking out what are the practical steps if you want to get back to what you're saying born to be um what are some practical steps kind of where the rubber meets the road of, of trying to get back there um and it, and it basically relates to uh kind of a nutrient dense whole foods diet uh some call it paleo but it, again there's there's even derivatives of that uh, i don't like to get stuck in the minutia um and then also you know some type of uh, exertion that relates to resistance training. And again, if you have the right tools or, or great tools, perfect, but you can still do it with, with body weight and with other lesser means and lower tech tools. If, if that's all you have access to. Yeah, man. I mean, it's interesting. You brought up that let's say females, uh, man, over 10,000 years ago yeah. that were growing up in kind of a tribal culture or society or even tribal cultures now that yeah. their strength capacity is more than would you say the average man or even guys who work out in the gym? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd have to go back and look at some of the, 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 you know, that book as I referenced. But, um, but I think that a, an average female then is stronger than an average man now. I will definitely say that. Yeah. 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 It's a low average. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, yeah. But, but, you yeah. know, that's interesting because like, um, you know, I, I think with a lot of stuff with paleo and a lot of stuff with, you know, as we're getting into this and even in your niche of efficient yeah. exercise, we get so caught up in the efficiency and we don't get back into what it was really meant to do. Mm -hmm. So I see a lot of guys in the, the exercise or, or fitness industry. It's almost like we're getting so efficient that we miss the point And, you know, we almost get obsessive yeah, yeah. with like all this sort of stuff. And we you know, get more stressed out and, and yeah, yeah. you know, I, I haven't heard you talk too much, but man, what I hear Skylar and Keith and, yeah. lot, and you know, really what's coming out of stuff at the paleo effects and everything really coming yeah. out of your camp yeah. Yeah. is all sharing this message that we have to be like entirely, you know, healthy in a way. And, and uh, I remember asking Keith years ago, years yeah. ago, I mean, at least three years ago, you know, what is, what is stress? 
Yeah. And he's like, man, the body, you know, from what we know now, you know, he gave a real humble answer. He's like, from what we know now, we believe that stress is anything that is stress. Yeah. And that's going to throw off your nervous system. And when your nervous system is thrown off, you're not thinking the same. Your yeah. speed isn't the same. Everything about you is taken down to a different um, expression, I guess you could say. And yeah. that's where a lot of us are functioning on, which is yeah. a bummer. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, anything, yeah, exercise is a stress in and of itself. Right. It's a stress that, if done properly, produces a better result. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a stressor to the body, and a lot of people don't like to think about that. Now, conversely, you are absolutely right. There are some kind of uh, you know, high-intensity training advocates, which nuts and bolts of high-intensity training has great premises. It's directionally accurate. Don't get me wrong. Um, but there are people that will take that to the extreme. Uh, just like a paleo diet, for, for example, they can take that to an extreme um, where, you know, it's not about working out for 10 minutes a week in the right way and then sleeping, sitting on the couch, eating Cheetos, you know, I mean, you, you have to move, you, you should be doing some other things and then off, obviously just keeping your mind active. Um, and, and again, what, what this type of workout has done for me personally is it's, you know, it's allowed me to be an entrepreneur. It's allowed me to be a family man. It's allowed me to do so many more things because, I mean, I just have to be honest, I don't love the weight room like I used to, and that's okay. Um, I, I mean, I, I still obviously am very invested in it um, and invested into developing the right tools, but um, but it just doesn't quite do it for me, if you will, like it, like it used to. And that's, yeah. that's, that's totally okay, but I'm, I'm excited, if you will, by other things. And, and yeah. so I think we have to discover that. And to me, the exercise done properly is this, this kind of springboard, if you will, uh, and, and the lifestyle of, of kind of like a paleo ancestral uh, diet lifestyle is just a springboard to allow you to be a free thinker, to be, you know, kind of what you're, what, as you're saying, born to be. It gives you more uh, energy, uh, more strength, more endurance, kind of everything, really. If you're doing it, it's going to propel you, if you will, to, to be a better man, better person.